Hi everybody, this is Tiff Howie coming to you today from Lagos Marina in the south of Portugal, the beautiful Algarve coastline, where today we're going to take a look at a full walkthrough of this lovely Portofino 46 behind me. She is a 2008 model in a fantastic condition. Let's jump on board and take a look. We've just stepped on the bathing platform here on Baruna and I'm just going to point out a couple of the many um, upgrades that this boat's had over the last year. So she has all new teak flooring, not just on the bathing platform, but in the cockpit and on the side decks as well. She's benefited from a full exterior paint as well as new exterior upholstery in this cockpit. So let's talk a little bit about the stern here. So obviously you've got this lovely teak floor platform. This is lowering, so you press a button and this goes down into the water and that makes launch and recovery of the tender really, really easy. On the point of tender, we should mention that she does include tender chocks as well. So for fitting a tender on the back here, it's really practical. You've got a transom ladder over here and that is a brand new ladder as well. And over there on the starboard side, you have a connection to your shore power so you can connect easily from the pontoon. Just under this top step, we find a hydraulic passer out. That's controlled by buttons just on the left hand side as we step into the cockpit. That makes getting in and out of here with tides really easily. We step then up into the main cockpit area. So we've got this lovely sunbed at the back. This backrest section pulls backwards so you can have this as a full lay down sunbed for two. And then the door here includes it encloses the full cockpit for you. Over on the port side, we've got the wet bar. So you lift this up, we find the ceramic grill with splash guard, a sink with built in drainage, as well as storage, cup holders, a worktop surface, and a large ice maker there as well. We've got cup holders built into here as well as more storage as well. And then really cleverly, the table on these 47s is actually built into the seating. So rather than having to have your table out all the time, what you do is you lift up the cushion to this centre seat, you lift up this backrest, and you find your table inside. It's hydraulic and teak top. And your table comes out like that. So it's good for alfresco dining in the cockpit, but then obviously when you don't want it out here in the way, you just fold it up and put it back inside. And then stepping a little bit further forward, we find a large Waco Coolmatic. So this is a large icebox essentially. So this is gonna keep all of your drinks nice and cold. And then a little bit further forward, we find the helm position. So helm is over on the starboard side here. You've got a bolster step and a bolstered seat, which means that you can see right out to the top over the top of this uh, opening sunroof the sunroof is electric and it's controlled by pushing a button here so you can enclose this whole area it's hard top obviously and then there's a canopy that encloses the back as well so you can have this closed up in the winter or nice and open like this in the summer and letting loads of lovely natural light so on the mechanics so she's fitted with two Volvo IPS engines they are um, really easy to manoeuvre, they are slightly more fuel efficient, you've got the IPS joystick just here and there has been a bow thruster fitted in the last year as well which is a really handy piece of equipment. Got full set of nav gear so we've got a Raymarine 120 colour chart plotter, we've got an autopilot Raymarine again, we've got auto um, Raymarine depth sounder and a Raymarine VHF radio. They're EVC controlled engine so it's electric start really easy to get your engine started and then you've got your trim tabs and your other various buttons here um, and then your engine oil temperature gauges everything that you need rudder position position indicates all just here and easy to view when you are going along and then really handily i always find on the this particular model on the port side you've got the co-pilot seat so this you could fit i would say three people in here quite comfortably and it makes it really social when somebody's driving the boat you can sit up here and talk to them but also because this is built up slightly that to give more headroom into the aft cabin it also means that you've got really lovely visibility and if you stand up here you've got full visibility over the front of the boat so that's the cockpit we're going to go and take a look inside now let's have a look when we step down from the cockpit heading forward we find ourselves in the main accommodation area so this is where you're going to spend your time when you are relaxing in the evenings or having your breakfast when you're staying for extended periods on board this lovely boat. So on the starboard side, we find the saloon first of all. So it's got this lovely C-shaped seating area, leather upholstery, 
room enough for at least six people in here. And the table, which is configured more as a kind of drinks table at the moment, folds out and you have yourself a nice interior dining section. Over just in head there, we've got the TV unit, so sharp TV, both sound system and storage underneath. Loads of storage lockers built into here. Two opening portholes there as well, so that's going to let in some lovely natural light, as well as a large skylight up here, which opens too. And then just behind the seating area, we find the electrics panel. So here you've got all of your switches to turn on your lights, you can turn on your generator, you can see how many volts you've got going to your batteries, make sure your batteries are charging, and check your generator hours, everything is really easy to access there. And then just behind that you've got the control for the reverse cycle air conditioning, so that's going to pump out hot or cold air, whichever you desire. We go over to the port side and then we find the galley. So this is a really well equipped galley and you'll notice the interior wood type on this is a lovely American walnut. Uh, this is quite a modern timber feature interior, very sought after and it ages really really well, it still looks very contemporary. You've got lots of storage built in above here, the standard Sunseeker crockery, two burner ceramic hob there and a large sink built into here with drainage built into the actual worktop as well. Over here we find a large refrigerator with a freezer section at the top and then lots of drawers and more storage underneath here you've got your built-in dedicated cutlery drawer so all of that is secure and none of it's going to move around at sea when you're going along. You'll find the master cabin on this Portofino 47 just ahead of the saloon slash galley and here we are in this cabin so we've got a large island double bed here this is more than enough room for two people loads of storage built in cleverly as well so you've got two drawers four drawers rather underneath the bed there and on each side four lockers so eight lockers total built in here you've got a sharp tv just ahead on the bulkhead there and a large hanging locker mirror fronted on the starboard side and then just above the bed you've got this escape hatch this also acts as a skylight so this is going to let loads of natural light into this cabin if you need it but it also also got a blind system as well and reading lights built into the back of the bed there and then we go over to this side and you'll find the first of the two en-suites. So a really roomy en-suite for the, this master cabin. You've got built-in mirror fronted lockers there, lockers underneath the sink, electric WC, uh, sink with hot and cold mixer tap and this lovely shower area which is enclosable. So this sliding section pulls around and it keeps this shower um, separate from the rest of the WC. Last but not least when it comes to the cabins, we're in the VIP guest cabin. So this is located midships and access just behind the galley. So first of all, we've got a large double mirror fronted hanging locker just here. Electric socket underneath there as well. And then the second of the en suites in here. So this is set up similar to the first en suite. You've got the sink mirror fronted lockers, lockers underneath the sink, electric WC, as well as an opening port hole on blinds and then similar shower setup. So when you're showering, this whole section encloses and it keeps the rest of your ensuite nice and dry. So this being a two cabin, two ensuite boat makes it ideal for families of four or even a couple of couples to do extended cruising and be really comfortable. And then the beds. So you've got two single beds in here. Again, more storage underneath. So a drawer there and a drawer each side underneath these beds. Two spacious singles and a sharp TV built onto the front there. You've also got reading lights built in and a nice porthole that opens up on that side as well. So you do get nice natural light in this cabin. A lot of these cabins and midships can be quite dark, but this is light and luxurious. Here we find the engine room on Baruna. So firstly, we've got the two IPS Volvo engines. They're the 600s. They're 435 horsepower each. Beautiful condition, really well maintained engines. Over there on the starboard side, you've got a generator and then domestic water heating system there as well. That's that blue cylinder. You've got automatic fire extinguisher system, battery charger, and then just behind, we've got two 660 litre fuel tanks. Everything's really easy to access. It's nice and light in here. So for doing your servicing and general maintenance, it's an absolute dream. The last place that we are gonna check out is the bow. So you've got lovely wide side decks that lead up to this bow section. As we said, the exterior is all being repainted, so this is lovely and fresh. New upholstery here as well. This is a double sunbed, but to be honest, 
you could probably fit three or four people in here quite comfortably. It's a spacious area. Um, it's nice and light. You've obviously got this teak flooring as well, which is really comfortable underfoot. Cup hold is built in there too. And then at the front, you've got anchor, anchor winch and locker for storing fenders and ropes and bits like that. So that is Varun. I really hope that you enjoyed this tour. Thank you for coming along with us. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section. I'll be sure to come back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching.